everybody, it's John Stiles here. We are headed to Ray's Fest in Kentucky. All checked and very is subject to search. Looking forward to learning a lot about raising capital for real estate. meeting my friend Matt here and he's going to the conference as well. here at Ray's Fest. I just want to introduce you to my friend Matt. Hey there. So Matt and I arranged uh, the fly together here. We're both from the Twin Cities area and uh, come to check out Ray's Fest. So Matt, what are you hoping to get out of this conference? Looking to connect with some great people in the capital region sphere and to learn a few new uh, tricks. Alright, here for day one of Ray's Fest and um, yesterday we flew in and it was a great time to connect with a few new people. Uh, we went out to a Cuban restaurant which had some wonderful food. So you know I'm really looking forward to the content that I'm going to learn here about Ray's Fest about how to raise money for real estate deals but beyond the content and the facts what I'm really looking forward to is the networking. And if anybody else is in this space, you understand what I'm talking about because it's not just about the content you can learn. I mean, I can go online and learn content, right? But it's about the people I can meet and, and do deals with. And so uh, it's all about the networking. But <clears throat> the thing is, if, you, if you're anything like me who I'm kind of an introvert, um, networking doesn't necessarily happen just um, by accident or or just automatically. So uh, sometimes you got to put a lot of thought and preparation into networking. And so I uh, just thought I'd share some thoughts with you about it. Um, first of all, uh, before the event. So I'm just about to head over to the event here. Uh, it's day one of a three-day conference. So I'm preparing my mind and my emotions even before I head into the crowd. I want to be prepared with um, something interesting about myself. You know, I want to be prepared to talk about myself, my family, my interests, my hobbies, beyond just the, um, you know, the core topic that we're here about, which I want to be prepared to talk about that as well, real estate and raising capital. Um, but I want to be able to connect with people on an emotional level, on a personal level, and in order to do that, I need to be prepared to share about myself. Uh, secondly, I want to be prepared to share something of value. So that might be something like uh, an interesting fact about the market I'm investing in, or it might be uh, a, a deal that I know is available, um, something like that where I can provide value to the people that I'm talking to. So it's not all about myself. And the third thing I wanna do in order to be prepared to network at this event is to know what I'm looking for. You know, how am I gonna know if I've had a success at this networking event if I don't know what I was looking for at, in the beginning? So for me, I'm looking for just a couple of people, just a handful of people that I can connect with on a pretty close level where I feel like I could do business with them uh, in terms of they investing in my deals or me partnering on their deals or even uh, me learning from them about, you know, just learning from their example about how they've been doing this business. And um, if I can connect with just those few people, I will come away from this conference thinking that it has been a success. Alright, 
So, day one of Raise Fest is in the books. Uh, lots of great content on uh, how to raise capital and the mindset shifts that you have to make, but uh, I'll go into content maybe in another video. But today I wanna just continue on my thought process and uh, sharing about networking. You know, yesterday I talked about what you can do in preparation for an event. And I've still got two more days of this conference. So I wanna just go on about what you can do at the event to make sure your networking is effective, um, especially, you know, if you're an introvert. So uh, like myself, you know, <laughs> after a full day of networking yesterday, uh, I had to kind of unwind and detach and just uh, relax. So, but anyways, getting back to it, uh, you know, two more days of networking here. So what we got to do at this event here is we want to make sure that we're connecting well with people. And one way to do that is to use their name when you're talking to them. So thankfully at conferences like this, we have name badges. And so, you know, for anybody out there that's maybe a little bit like me and you have trouble remembering names, a name badge is definitely helpful. If if you don't, if you're in a situation where you don't have a name badge, you know, uh, do something else like like visualize their name as soon as they tell it to you, uh, repeat it to them as soon as they tell it to you, because that visualization, that repetitiveness, uh, will help you rather than it just getting lost. And and you know, by the end of the conversation, you're like, who are you again? What's your name again? You know. But if you're using their name, then that will definitely help them feel like they're being acknowledged, that they're being seen. And, and help that connection to be there with you each other. So the second point I just wanted to, to offer up is that you wanna be asking questions of people. You want to be digging into what they are telling you. So not, not like salesy questions, you know, you're not trying to get to a sale at a networking event, you're trying to learn about people. So as they tell you something, you wanna ask something a little bit more. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Can you explain that further? Uh, and tell me why that's so important. So as you do that, again, you're gonna help them to feel like they're um, heard, they're seen, and, and that'll deepen the connection. And, and they'll reciprocate, you know, don't feel like uh, it's all gonna be about them. Yeah, you'll get your turn, you know, that's what these are all about. You know, people say, what about you? Tell me more about you. So it'll go both ways. And the last thing I wanna recommend here for networking events is that you take notes. It, it, it might seem silly, uh, at the event as you're talking to people, but you could even have like a little tiny pocket notebook where you're writing things down. Uh, if not that, you know, you'll probably be getting a handful of business cards and you could take notes on the business card. Uh, or very often we're now, you know, having these apps where you just scan a QR code. Well, as you import that contact information, um, go ahead and take notes on uh, the contact card. Uh, you want to take notes like, you know, what did you learn about in the conversation? Where are they from? Uh, do they have a family? Uh, what are their hobbies and interests? You know, anything that can uh, jog your memory about the conversation and just help you because um, otherwise, you know, you're going to end up with just a stack of business cards like I've got here from just yesterday. And, um, you're gonna not know what to do with them at the end. So you wanna be able to follow up after this is all done. And in order to do that well, you're gonna to wanna to have taken notes. So uh, that's all I got for now. So let's get over there to the conference and learn some more about raising capital. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready for day three of Ray's Fest. Day two is just jam packed, full of content, full of great speakers like John Turley, uh, Tom Dunkel, and Steve Werner. Uh, one quick quote, uh, don't take advice from someone that doesn't have what you want. So that was an interest, interesting perspective. Lots of other great content related to raising capital. I won't go into much of it right here, but if you wanna learn more uh, or want to discuss more what I've learned, uh, let me know. I can share more videos 
about that in the future. But I just want to continue on talking about uh, networking and networking on purpose here. Uh, we've gone over uh, several adv advice and tips about what to do in preparation for a, an event like this, what to do at the event like this. And as this particular event wraps up here today, I'm thinking about what's going to come next. How is this networking going to be effective? How is my time here spent you know, flying out to Louisville and spending all this money at the hotel and, and going to the conference? How's it going to be worthwhile? Well, it's all in the follow-up. You know, I got a small stack of business cards that I've collected, uh, more contacts that I've uh, gathered electronically. And, um, you know, it could all be just for not. I might as well just uh, throw these all in the trash can on my way out if I'm not going to do any follow-up. Um, these people are valuable even if they are not maybe my ideal client because I think what we fa fail to really uh, recognize sometimes with networking is it's not just about the person you have just met, but it's, the, it's their network. And, you know, you always want to lead with value. So also it's your own network. You know, who, who do you know that could be of value as an introduction to the person that you've just met? And so that's what it's all about, you know, not just the immediate people, but the network beyond that. And so I'm telling myself and, and want to encourage you to, you know, be thinking about how can we follow up? How can we, you know, I got to put these people in my CRM for one. I got to tag them in uh, many different ways. Uh, Neil Bawa was at the conference yesterday, talked a lot about tagging in the database. And, um, you know, I got to tag for where we've met them. Uh, where they're invested in, what kind of asset classes they're invested in, what they're looking for, what they have, you know, all sorts of things like that. And that way I can follow up with them and uh, we can continue to build on each other, build with each other and, and add value to each other. So that's what it's all about. So looking forward to day three here and hope you can take something from this and, and learn from it as well. All right, we're at the end of day three of the Race Fest Conference. It's been great. Taking a lot of notes. Our one quick takeaway, uh, when it comes to building trust with your ideal client, there are many different uh, ways to think about trust. And one guy, uh, Richard Wilson, talked about his trust curves. He talked about the leadership trust curve, the industry trust curve, and the opportunity trust curve. So try to get uh, educate your ideal clients so that they are increasing in trust on all three of those uh, different curves. So uh, lots to digest and go over in the days and weeks to come. But uh, I got to get to bed after going to the after party and, and networking, networking, getting lots uh, more connections. Um, but tomorrow's an early flight. Got to get to the airport about 5.30 and uh, back to Minnesota. So good to be back where there's feet and piles and piles of snow. Welcome back to Minneapolis.